All right, well, I think if there's a person that uh, probably has played the most 10 by threes in this room, it's probably Ed Bridge, but <laughs> I think Ray's definitely giving him a run for money. Uh, I, actually, I think it's Ray, sorry, Ed. Just joking. Uh, Ray came to the 10 by three when he was 18 years old. And it's been a pleasure to see him do this thing all these years and happy that he's here tonight. Uh, I love him like a brother. Fucking A, Ray Flanagan, everybody. Put your hands together. Thanks, man. The night time where I can swim in my own madness until the dawn, until it's all gone.
break the legs of everybody at Netflix. Anybody that works there, I don't really care if you're high up or low down, or if you have all your songs placed on it or whatever. Um, and the fact that you could come uh, into the best listening room in Cleveland on a Wednesday yeah. night for free and see this amazing show. Uh, it's really, it's really something. Um, I know uh, this, everybody, uh, that the musicians and artists that are here um, that are just come here to give of themselves and, and pour their heart and soul out here. I feel like I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna take a shower later tonight and I'm just gonna have a big cry because that's an overwhelming. <laughs> Everybody's just giving so much and it's just a beautiful thing. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> but I am, uh, you know, I'm not gonna get too down in my feelings here, so it's music. <laughs> This is a song that I think, uh, uh, an anecdote, I, this song's called the, the Pyramids of Memphis, and uh, I had this idea because uh, I was watching some documentary about Egypt, and the first pyramids are in Memphis, in Egypt, and I realized, oh, I forgot that Memphis is like an Egyptian place, and that um, Memphis, what we think of, <laughs> it makes it, you think of the sound of the word a little different, and, um, but uh, here in Cleveland, Ohio, we have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and there was a battle, I don't know how many people are aware of this, but it was either going to be in Cleveland or it was going to be in Memphis. And it was like sort of a fight between who was going to get the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, and maybe from the musical standpoint, it belongs in Memphis a little more because of Sun Records and stuff like that. But we have Alan Freed who coined the term, whatever. Um, but I just thought it was funny because we ended up getting the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is this funny pyramid building. And then Memphis got stuck with the Bass Pro Shops, period. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, so uh, I was thinking about that, and then I was thinking about <laughs> how that, how, how the Memphis in America has the Bass Pro Shops pyramid, in my view, as a loss to Cleveland. And uh, and then and then in Memphis over in Egypt, there's these other pyramids. I don't know what that all means. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got nothing on my mind but you, baby. I don't know what to do. I got nothing on my mind but you, baby. I can't see what to do. But play that music all night long. Play that music all night long. I'm crying. That's why I sing this song. I got nothing on my mind but you, baby. You are the queen of my heart. I got nothing on my mind but you, baby. You're about to tear me apart. Now I'm no doctor, but I got patience. I'm no doctor, but I got patience. I'm crying, and now it won't be long.
And I will walk along. I'm going to bring the band up here. Um, uh, <laughs> I, get, I get nervous in the box time. You know, I come to the jam sometimes. Uh, and I just sit in the back and just watch these guys in fear, you know. <laughs> but really just trying to learn from them. So it's really amazing for all you guys to be up here to play some music with y'all. Give a hand for these guys. Because, um, like, I, like you know, Brent said, I've been, I feel like I kind of grew up in the 10 by 3 and, I, and I've been coming here for, whatever, since 2011 or something like that. And uh, I told Brent a couple minutes ago, like, that this is like one of the coolest 10 by 3s ever because these guys are here and because there's room and the space, it's like, it will stick out in my mind. Uh, it's Halloween, um, and, and uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, the whole month is orange and stuff, so uh, this is a song called, oh, I've been doing this thing, anybody ever sage their house? Yeah. Okay. I've been trying to do this thing where I invite like bad spirits in my house <laughs> and uh, and like because I want to get possessed and stuff. You know? Or my eyes roll back in my head and like, somebody's like, oh no, you know, they're like si they're trying to make scientific reasons for why I'm possessed by the devil, but then they end up having a call for Easter or whatever. Um, <laughs> so this is something there's a wolf outside my door. There's a wolf outside my door And he's gonna get in There's a wolf outside my door And he's gonna get in You do anything just to keep him at bay Wave your arms, scream and run him away Train him to sit, shut up there's a wolf outside my door And he's gonna get in someday There's a wolf outside my door Thank you. 
Everybody one more time. 